Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and look at how to install custom ROMs, especially AOSP ROMs, on your OnePlus 5T. Now, if you're on the latest Oxygen OS firmware, or you've latest, or you've updated to the latest before, and you're installing custom ROM, you don't have to install the latest firmware, because obviously you're on the latest firmware. Um, in my case, I didn't update uh, my phone for a while, and it was on like Oxygen OS version like... I don't know, eight or something. So if you're in that boat, or um, or if you're in that boat, or in the future, maybe Oxygen OS updates and the custom ROMs require the latest firmware, you'll have to use this method. So let's go ahead and take a look. So for this example, we're gonna go ahead and learn how to install uh, any ROM. Uh, I'm actually installed Havoc ROM. Now you will need a computer for this. Let me go on my computer to explain all the files you will need to download. Hi guys, so you will want to download a bunch of files. Um, go to highonandroid.com. Um, go to my Havoc ROM review. At the top, you'll see the actual ROM review, um, all the features you know, Havoc ROM gives you. Now I'm gonna use Havoc ROM as an example, but you can go ahead and download any ROM you want. The only thing you have to really change is uh, the ROM itself. Uh, but otherwise, it's going to be the same. Like I said, if you're on Oxygen OS older version than v9.0.8, if you're installing the latest custom ROM, a lot of times what will happen is when you go into twerp, you'll get an error that you will need to update your Oxygen OS v9.0.8 or whatever the latest version is. Uh, if that happens, then you will have to use this method. All right, so what we're going to do is basically uh, install the latest Oxygen OS firmware, let it boot, all right? And then once it boots, we will have to sign in. I'm signing in without uh, any security. And then we will reflash Twerp Recovery because when you flash a stock firmware, it will overwrite it. And then we will go ahead and install the rest of it. All right, but you can go ahead and download all these files on your phone um, or on your computer, then copy it over to your phone. It's up to you. This method is not going to erase anything on your phone, but still make a backup just in case. So go ahead and download the latest firmware uh, right now as of this year is 9.0.8 for OnePlus 5T. All right. Um, also, this is pretty much the same method for all the older uh, OnePlus 5, OnePlus 4, OnePlus 3, OnePlus 2, uh, yada, yada, yada. Also, go ahead and download fastboot.zip. Um, you'll need this to reflash twerp. Um, all the download links are at the bottom where it says click here to download. That will download it for you. All right. Um, also, you'll need to download Havoc ROM. Um, grab the latest version. Um, so I've grabbed the version 2.8. And also, you'll need to download uh, uh, basically Pico G apps. Go to opengapps.org. Choose ARM64, uh, Android 9.0, and Pico and go ahead and hit that button. That will download the latest uh, G apps you'll need. And also um, download Majisk if you want root. All right, I do recommend downloading um, Majisk and click here to download. And also Google camera, if you want Google camera night site, um, you can go ahead and download this also. All right, once you have downloaded all the files, um, copy it into your phone or you can download, like I said, you can download all of these files onto your phone. And let's go back to our phone real quick. All right guys, as you can see, I've got the um, Google camera app, um, the APK file. Also the Havoc 2.8 I talked about, um, just V19.3. Also OnePlus 5T Oxygen, blah, blah, dot zip. This is the firmware I was telling you about. And also open G apps. All right, that's pretty much all you need. Go ahead and reboot into Twerp. Now you should have Twerp installed. You should have already unlocked the bootloader obviously on your 5T and rooted your phone. Then you would have installed Twerp Recovery. Um, to get into Twerp Recovery uh, with power off, go ahead and hit volume up, power, which will get you into uh, bootloader. Choose recovery using the volume keys. Hit the power button and you should be in Twerp Recovery. All right now, like I said, if you're already on the latest V9.0.8, you can go ahead and skip this firmware um, installation skip uh, step. You don't even need your computer. You can just go ahead and straight up install it, all right? But I know a lot of you guys probably watching this because you ran into a problem uh, where Twerp gives you an error. Now you'll see I get an error with my password. I'm gonna actually just um, get rid of security. That's the simplest way. Sometimes these Twerp recoveries, they have trouble with your passwords. It's better to just turn it off while you do this and you can go ahead and just um, turn on your security after. So I'm gonna actually just go ahead and reboot 
and turn off my security before I do this so I don't have to deal with this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because it's, I, I can't actually um, get twerp to um, basically decrypt the device. Now Havoc ROM also has straight to recovery so I'm not going to use the buttons. I just only show you the buttons uh, for those of you who don't have a ROM like this. That's another reason to install this ROM. All right, so I've got rid of security, so now I won't have to enter password. I don't have to worry about decryption. Like I said, some tour versions, um, sometimes the security gets all wonky. So you can just turn it off while you install the ROM. All right, you'll see I'm in tour back in Torp, and it should not give me um, prompt for password. All right, once in here, we're going to go ahead and do a wipe, factory reset. All right, this won't erase the contents of your phone, but it will erase your apps and app settings. Go to install and go ahead and go to your download folder or wherever you put all the files. And I'm going to go ahead and install the OnePlus 5T Oxygen OS ROM, the, the actual firmware, the latest V9.0.8 or whatever. You should be installing the latest one. Now, um, you will have to reconnect it to your computer after it boots, after you sign in. The reason is that um, I did try actually install. You can actually install Torp Recovery um, using Torp, but the problem is that once um, you still have to boot the OS, and when it boots, it's gonna erase your Torp Recovery. All right, and if you try to install a ROM just over it uh, without booting first, then it will actually boot loop. So you actually have to let it boot after you install the firmware. So it's a little confusing, but. Um, you know, once if you follow this tutorial, you'll be able to install any custom ROM easily and update also your phone to the latest Oxygen OS. Okay, when that's done, um, go ahead and reboot system and let this reboot. It's gonna give you a welcome page. I'm gonna go ahead and let this set. We'll go ahead and fast forward all this. And this is also a way you can uh, basically get back to stock firmware. After it boots, you can go ahead and just use it. Um, if you want to go back to Oxygen OS. So this is a real simple way where you can get your phone back to um, using Oxygen OS. If you get tired of custom ROMs, maybe you have problems, um, there you go. You just download the firmware, install it, reboot. That's pretty much it. Now, this method is only really for OnePlus devices. The reason is that um, when OnePlus updates the firmware, a lot of the files or a lot of drivers that depend on the uh, the newer firmware uh, will be included in the, the custom ROM. So that's why you have to update it. You don't really have to do this with other phones like Samsung, um, but for OnePlus devices, you have to do this. It's sort of cumbersome. That's the only thing I don't like about OnePlus. I just wish they made it, you know, more seamless so you don't have to update the firmware. It's, you know, but you can't install ROMs unless you update the firmware. Oops. Here was my bolt hole. Okay, once booted, um, real simple, just go ahead and sign in. Because if you don't sign in, um, then um, everything will stay encrypted and you won't be able to actually install ROMs. Um, you won't be able to actually see your files in Torp. Yes, a lot, of, it's really complicated. <laughs> they made it a little complicated there in terms of updating the firmware. Just skip everything. Like I said, don't set any um, security. You can always set it later on. Besides, we're gonna install a new ROM here. Okay, that took forever. All right. Um, we're not going to actually use the device, uh, but you can see we're back on stock firmware. Now, if you want to use stock firmware, you can go ahead and use it here. I'm going to go ahead and power off and we're going to go ahead and have to reinstall uh, Torp Recovery. So you're going to go ahead and hold down volume up in the power and let go. And this is fast boot mode. You can just, it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and connect it to your computer via um, cable. Now you can use Windows, Mac or Linux, but I'll be using Windows. I'll show you what commands you have to type for uh, Mac or Linux. All right, um, I forgot to tell you uh, one of the files you're supposed to download. Now, you'll need these files for your computer. This is not for your phone. I forgot to tell you that. Sorry about that. <laughs> but go ahead and download uh, fastboot.zip and basically twerp, all right? And also, um, if you don't have dr Windows drivers, go ahead and download that too. Okay, so I just updated actually the post. Um, so here's what you'll need. Um, so go ahead and scroll down. You'll need fastboot.zip, uh, twerp, and also Windows ADB driver, the three files, all right? Um, download the same, uh, all the downloads, click here to download, download that, fastboot.zip. For twerp, you're gonna go ahead and search for OnePlus 5T, which is dumpling. And you're gonna go ahead and go into um, 
Primary Americas download links. And you're going to go ahead and download the latest 3.3.1.0. It actually doesn't really matter. You can use older versions, but it's good to use the latest version. All right, also go ahead and download the ADB drivers if you don't have that installed already, just in case you need it. Uh, once those files have been downloaded, go into your Fastboot folder. Uh, and what you're going to do is go ahead and unzip, double click on fastboot.zip, extract all. Extract it to this folder here, download slash fastboot, whatever your download folder is, and put it into fastboot. And you'll get a folder called fastboot here uh, with all the uh, files you need. And you're going to go ahead and um, copy the twerp. Sorry, I have a lot of files here. Uh, the twerp dumpling. Ah, twerp dumpling. Go ahead and copy this. And go back to your fat the new fast food folder and you're going to go ahead and paste it but you can you see i already have it in there so you should have this file in there all right and next we're going to go ahead and go to start and type cmd and that'll give you a command prompt all right and if you're using mac or linux you can go ahead and open a terminal if you don't know how please google it Next, we're going to go ahead and go into the downloads folder and also go into the fastboot folder. And we're going to go ahead and do fastboot space flash space recovery space and hit w TWRP and hit the tab key. Oops, TWRP. Then hit the tab key and it'll fill it out for you. Now, if you're using uh, Mac or Linux, you'll want to type. I'll show you that after. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this should flash it. And now we've successfully flashed Torp Recovery. If you get any error, then you may have to install the drivers. Go to your downloads folder. Go ahead and run the uh, ADB driver file that I told you earlier here, which is which is this one here, um, the universal ADB driver setup. All right, for Mac or Linux, um, the CD commands are the same. The only thing you're going to do different is you're going to do chmod755 start. That will change the permission so you can actually execute all the files and do that and then for um for linux it's going to be dot slash fastboot dash linux like that if you get an error you're not a root user you can also do sudo space like that all right for mac it's going to be dot slash fastboot dash mac that's pretty much it um you don't need drivers for mac or linux so i hope that explains it so now we don't need our computer anymore. All right, really easy to do. Go ahead and choose recovery mode using the volume keys. You should still be in fast boot mode, obviously. Now that we've installed Torp recovery over the stock firmware, now you, we can access Torp again. Now, when you install new ROMs for other ROMs from here, you don't have to do this step. This is only to get us um, the system files up to the latest firmware. Once you have done that, you don't have to do it twice, right? Uh, until the next update. So once that's done, we're going to do um, just a simple uh, install, just to wipe uh, and then go to install, choose a uh, Havoc and go ahead and go to add more zips. Go ahead and choose the OpenG apps. Go ahead and go to add more zips and go ahead and choose Magisk and confirm to flash. This will help us uh, basically flash everything at once and save time. Hi guys, once booted, we're going to go ahead and go um, sign in real quick. All right, um, now you should have booted. Magisk working. Let me go ahead and connect to the internet. And go into Magisk. Make sure safety net check passes. Passing. There we go. Um, so we got Play Store, everything working. Now, if you want to get Google Camera, um, actually, this one does come with Google Camera, so I guess you don't have to install it. But if for some reason, if you're missing it, then you can go ahead and install the APK. Oh, no, this is the older um, this is the older Google camera. So go into files. If you want a nice site, um, go ahead and install the Gcam uh, file. This will give you a full night site in full Google camera abilities. That's pretty much it. And everything should be working. Your data should be working. I took my SIM out um, to my other phone, but it should be working flawless. And boom. And now we're going to do nice sites. And you should be good to go. It's a little bit slow on this phone, obviously, because it's an older phone. But you should be good to go. Yeah. Hey, guys. That's how you install a custom ROM on the OnePlus 5T. If you need to update the firmware before installing the ROM, 
or if you get an error while installing custom ROM that you need to upgrade the firmware. Um, the, the process is exactly the same. So on the next firmware update, just use the newer firmware update. And the process is exactly the same for all the custom ROMs. Um, just use the different ROM file. Now, um, some ROMs like Pixel Experience, they don't require G apps, so you may be able to also skip that step. So just read up on the ROM you're installing and you should be good to go. Have a great day and as always, stay on OnePlus 5T.